Hello and welcome to a new video with Python automation series. In this video, you will learn how to automate your mouse and keyboard to save your time if you're doing some repetitive work such as clicking, dragging, or typing the same text. And for that, we'll use a module called PyAutoGUI. PyAutoGUI lets your Python scripts control the mouse and keyboard to automate interactions with other applications like moving the mouse, clicking, scrolling, or type in the windows of other application to fill out some form, for example. You will find the link for PyAutoGUI official documentation in the description section below. PyAutoGUI is not a built-in module in Python, but we will need to import it. So in your command prompt, go ahead and run this command shown on the screen. pip install PyAutoGUI. Python controls and tracks your mouse using the coordinates of the screen. Suppose the resolution of your screen is 1920 by 180 pixels, which means 1920 pixels displayed across the screen horizontally and 1080 pixels down the screen vertically. Then, your screen's coordinate system will look like this. Now, and after installation of PyAutoGUI, we can import PyAutoGUI library. And let's go ahead and check out our screen resolution. For that, we will print PyAutoGUI.size function. And there we go. Size has width and height. The width is 1920 and the height is 180. Good. We can also check out how we can move the mouse on the screen. And to do that, we will use the move to function, which takes usually X and Y coordinates and an optional duration parameter. For that, we will use the PyAutoGUI library and we want to access that method called move to. And as you can see on the screen, move to takes different parameters, X, which is the X coordinates horizontally, Y, which is the Y coordinates vertically and duration. So the duration is the duration for which the mouse is moving from one position to the other. So let's say, for example, we want to move 100 pixels on the X axis horizontally and 100 pixels on the Y axis vertically. And we will give duration. We'll give it one second. And let's see what will happen when we will run the file. Let me first come in this line out, we'll come here. And let's run the file. Did you see that? I didn't move it manually. So what happened is this here, this point right here, it's 0, 0.0 coordinate. When we will move to the right, this is increase on the X axis. And when we will move down, this will be increase in the Y axis. So let's say that this is 100 pixels to the right then on the Y axis, 100 pixel to the bottom. Let's run that one more time for you to see. So I will put the mouse here. It exactly moved 100 pixels to the right and 100 pixels down. So let me put a comment here. We also have move rel function. And this moves the mouse pointer relative to its previous position. So our previous position was 100 pixels to the right and 100 pixels down. So it was more or less here in this area. So this is our current position of the mouse. If we want to move from that position to another position, let's say we want to increase 50 pixels on the y axis to the bottom. So let me show you how we can do that. So again, we will use the PyAutoGUI library dot move rel. And as you can see, it's X offset and Y offset and also takes duration and other parameters such as tween and log screenshot. So we want to move rel on the X axis zero pixels and on the Y axis 50 pixels. And also let's give it a duration of one second. Let me make it slower, two seconds, for example. So let's give it a shot. Did you see how it moved downwards very slowly? 
because we made duration two seconds and this increment is 50 pixels from this point to this point so the total moving is 150 pixels on the y-axis and 100 pixels on the x-axis let me also show you initially if we will move it three seconds and we can change the x-axis and the y-axis let's check that again so I will put the mouse here there you go so to check the position of the mouse currently we will use a function called position so simply we will print by auto GUI dot position and let's run that file again and as you can see here point with the X axis 300 pixels which means 300 pixels to the right and Y axis 350 because initially we have moved the 300 from top to bottom and we have increased 50 pixels more so the total will be 350 on the Y axis we can also use the click function to click any button that we want and to do that is pretty simple simply you will type pi auto GUI dot and use the click function it also takes X and Y coordinates and the clicks with the interval and button but we'll not get into these in this video we'll just use the X and the Y so suppose that we want the mouse to click on file on the X axis I want to move the mouse 70 pixels to the right and on the Y axis 20 pixels to the bottom a duration of just one second let's run that there you go the mouse has moved automatically and clicked on file we also have two functions called drag to and drag rel and they perform similar to move to and move rel except they hold the left mouse button while moving so let's check out how we can use them let me demonstrate how this works in Microsoft Paint to draw a square automatically which is real fun so we will need to import another module called time and this module provides various functions to manipulate time values as you can see on the screen but we will use time module here in order to switch from the Visual Studio Code window to MS Paint window we will set time to sleep which delays the execution of any number of seconds and we'll give it 10 seconds as we said so what actually we want to do is we want to put the mouse somewhere here in a coordinate of 500 pixels on the x-axis and 500 pixels on the y-axis then we want to drag the mouse something like that from the left to the right then from up to down then from down to the left then from the left down to the top like that but before we run the file let's just come in these lines out and also this line and that's it we are good to go and let us put our Visual Studio code here like that save and let me just open the terminal again we are waiting 10 seconds fantastic this was a great demonstration to show how the mouse can drag and draw automatically now let me show you another function called scroll and it scrolls down or up so simply we will say by auto GUI dot scroll minus 200 for example and if you will put negative sign before the integer or the number of pixels this means that you want to scroll down and if you want to scroll up 
you will put the integer number in a positive sign. So negative to scroll down and positive to scroll up. But scrolling like that is not very useful. So let's try to do that on a website. So again, I will say by move to because we want to move to other part of the screen. And we will move 1100 pixels to the right and 300 pixels on the Y axis and we'll give it a duration of one second. And let me minimize the window like that. This is our code and this is the window where we want to scroll down. Let's just make it 500 pixels. Save that and let's run the file. Did you see that? It moved to the right and it has scrolled. So let's say that we want to scroll again up. Okay. So it has moved 500 pixels down, then 500 pixels up. The last thing that I want to show you is I want to show you some functions on the keyboard. And the first function that I would like to show you is called typewrite. And you can automate typing using typewrite function. Just we need to pass the string which you want to type as argument of this function. So let's say for example that we want to write subscribe to backbrace channel. So we can type pi autogui dot type write like that. And we will say subscribe to backbrace channel. So we got here in the terminal subscribe to backbrace channel. But let's say that we want to write subscribe to backbrace channel anywhere here on the screen. So to do that, we will need to click first anywhere here, then we will write. So let me delete that and run the file one more time. Great. The last thing that I would like to show you is the hotkeys combinations. We can use the hotkey function to press combination of keys like control C, control V, etc. So to do that, um, let me just comment these lines out. Pi auto GUI dot hotkey. And this is the function that performs key down presses on the arguments passed in order, then performs key releases in reverse order, as you can see on the screen. So let's say, for example, that we want the control on the left side, because on your keyboard, you have two controls, one on your right side next to the arrows and one on the left side. So we need that one on the left side. To do that, we will just simply type CTRL left and the second parameter is the letter A. And you know that control left plus A, it's a hotkey to select all. We need to click here, then select all. And there you go. It went so quickly. So maybe I will make it with duration to see duration equal to three seconds to make it a bit slow for you to see it better. So run that again. It has clicked on the position of 300 pixels and 300 pixels on the X and Y axis respectively. And then it performed the hotkey function, which clicked the control left A. All right. So this was how to automate your mouse and keyboard to do the boring tasks for you. I hope you liked the video. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next videos.